What up guys and welcome back to another tutorial video on the Martin Garden channel. Today I am going to show you how you can uh, set up Super Mario 64 online so you can play with me on stream or join any server you want. Anyway, um, all of the files are in the description below by the way, so be sure to check out the description, download all of the files. First thing you need is Net64, a little program called Net64, and an emulator to run the game. Um, anyway, this client you can download from uh, the GitHub. Uh, it's called Net64 Plus 2.3.0 Win32 uh, 64.7z. Um, and to unzip this file, because it's like a package, uh, you need an unzipping program. Uh, I would recommend using Winrar. Mm. Uh, so. On the Vindar website, it says, if you don't know what you were looking for, then you were probably looking for this. And that's true. So you press uh, this link right here, open that up and install Vindar, and then download this little package called Net64+. Plus. Uh, when you've downloaded that package, you can open it up uh, and it will look like this. You have an emulator folder and a clients folder um make um a folder on your desktop called net64 like this one put the files in there i've already done it but the way you do it is you like you select them and you uh you just drag them over to your folder right here and it will copy and paste it when you've done that um you will have this folder with the two folders uh client and emulator in there what you do then is you go to emulator you open up this uh, .exe called project 64 this is actually the emulator it's gonna look like this you go to the top left file uh, and press open ROM you want to select your original Super Mario 64 ROM you can find that almost everywhere on the internet <laughs> cool when it boots up Press F2 when this title screen is coming up to pause the game. So press F2 if the title screen... When the title screen comes up, press F2. It's important. <laughs> okay, so do that. So you pause the game. You go to options over here. Go to settings. Go to convic. Make sure memory size is set to 16 MB. And make sure that counter factor is set to one. Um, and over here on plugins, make sure uh, the video plugin is Glide64. Uh, the other ones don't really matter. Just use them. I would just recommend using whatever is there. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it actually. So you press OK. So the ROM is now booted up, it's all good. You go back to this folder, back to the clients folder. You go in here in the net 64 folder. You scroll down a little bit. You open up this dot exe dot net 64 plus. Let's do that. That's this little program. So now you have net 64 plus open. And you have the game open, the emulator. Uh, so in next net 64 you press start and now it says you must start and select an emulator so this is the emulator we're running right now this one so we press select and we are in the server section already so these are servers made by other people uh, that you can join usually they don't have uh, a password if they do uh, yeah, then you're gonna have to need the password, obviously. But I know Jean's server doesn't have a password. The game mode is regular, so you're just gonna play the regular game. Now you ha also have different game modes. This one is third-person shooter. <laughs> if you join that one, uh, the game will actually look different. But for now, let's just join Jean's 20B's server. And as you can see, I am in the game right now as Kirby. Uh, if you want to change your character, guys, go here to the top left. 
You can change your username over here. You can also change your character over here. Uh, you can be Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Wario, Peach, Toad, Toad, Waluigi, Rosalina, Sonic, Knuckles, Goomba, Kirby. So let's just save up right now and I'll show you how the game looks if I'm Kirby. So I'm gonna unpause. Mario. Hello. Check this out. You can just use whatever save file you have. And it says connected to server. And I'm Kirby right now. Kirby has a few special special moves like this, which is pretty freaking cool. So if you want to change your character, right? You go back to Net64 Plus. Uh, and let's say we want to be, I don't know, Knuckles. Knuckles can actually fly around like this, which is pretty funny. So you can actually do a lot in this game, which is freaking cool. I'll showcase characters. You have Luigi. Yoshi. Yoshi has a flutter jump. Which is pretty funny. If there are other people uh, on the server, you will see them. You can interact with them. You have Wario. Wario has this punch thing going on. <laughs> and... Yeah, Peach. Peach can float. Freaking cool. Toad. Uh, we got Waluigi in here. Waluigi has this uh, double jump thing going on. Which is pretty cool. Have Rosalina. Look, here's... there. <laughs> okay, so that was... This is someone else in the server right now. But as we go to server right now, we can see someone else joined. Pop DG joined. And that's that dude. So you can actually interact with them and actually punch them and shit. Pretty dope. Um, yeah. So this is it actually, guys. And you can also um, plug in your GameCube controller if you have an adapter. Which is freaking cool. Um, and then in the emulator, you should just put the adapter in your... Um, Put the adapter in your PC, USB, and then in the emulator, you can go to options and then uh, configure controller plugin. And you can actually select it uh, and just use all of the buttons on here. Uh, if you have a Mayflash adapter, go to this tab over here, devices. And select the port on your Mayflash. If you have the original uh, Wii U adapter, you probably don't need to do this. Um, dead zone and stuff, just leave it at 10%, leave it at the normal ones. I recommend this analog stick that you uh, uncheck the real N64 range and you make the range 100%. So it's a lot more smooth because the regular N64 range, um, yeah, it wasn't perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can add up to like four controllers and stuff. You can also use your keyboard, it doesn't really matter whatever you want um yeah and that's it actually if you want to make your own uh server you can go uh let's see how do we do that again let's disconnect from this server if you go to this tab over here it says connect if you have an ip address of a friend of yours um and you have the ports you can connect to them if you press this computer thing, you can make your own, right? You can do your game mode, password, and stuff. Be sure this port is open, because right now it's not open for me. Uh, so you actually have to go into your router and open up uh, the ports and stuff. But um, if you just want to join a random server, you don't have to worry about that. So if the port was open, uh, this would this would work, and I could actually open up a server. And then other people could join uh, my server by typing in my IP address and my port. Uh, anyway, um, let's just go to this third-person shooter. I kind of want to see what's up. Connected to server. I kind of want to see what happens if we do that. So I'm going to reset the emulator. Open up the ROM again. Settings are fine. Go to the clients, open up Net64 again. Hey, Mario. Start. Hello. Select the emulator again. I'm just rebooting. Okay, I'm gonna connect to this third person shooter thing. 
I have no clue what's gonna happen, actually. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Oh, you can... <laughs> you can actually... Throw fireballs now with L. I'm not sure if I actually had to reset the game. I don't think so. But anyway, this is pretty funny because... If there's anybody else in the server, you can just... Throw a fireball on him. <laughs> Which is dope. So all of the regular levels and stuff. Let me turn off this music. So all of the regular levels and stuff are um, accessible. If you have a save file. You can just open up that save file. All the stars will be there. You know what I mean? Or you can just start over. So this is the third third person shooter mode, apparently. So I wonder if I just disconnect from this server and connect against this one. Yeah, so now I'm connected to Jean Surfer. And I can't do the fireballs anymore. Uh cool. Now I'm not disconnect now I'm not connected to a server, so you can also just uh play the game regularly without being connected this one is prop hunt game modes is prop hunt let's see what this is connected to server dude i'm a freaking tree by my tree what, the <laughs> what is this <laughs> so as you can see there are like different modes you can do i don't exactly know what this is but okay <laughs> uh so there's a lot you can do apparently boss rush Whoa, what? Funny stuff. Okay, so I'm dead, I guess. I don't know what happened. Um... Let's just go into... John's normal server. Pretty dope. Uh, so yeah, if there are more people, you can actually see them over here. Uh, yeah, and that's it actually guys. It's not that hard to set up So yeah Let me pause This game So yeah, be sure to, uh, to Get the net 64 uh, Package have something you can unzip it with uh, Use the settings that I gave you have the The Mario 64 ROM and you should be good to go yo I, I will see you on stream, twitch.tv slash live, mixer.com slash mglive, and let's play some Super Mario 64 online. See you.